Hello and welcome back to Transports Fever, the UK series where we wait for Transports Fever 2. Last time out, we were trying to create a junction, or we started creating the junction out of Burnham, so you can see that we had the way into Burnham. We actually swapped the station around, we, we turned that entire station around after the sort of moment of complete madness I had when I was doing this on stream and decided, let me make the road go across there and uh, turn around and do that. Admittedly, this doesn't look as extravagant, but it probably works uh, a lot better. In fact, there's a little bit of smoothing I wish to do just there and around there and just around there. So I'm going to definitely be doing that to start off the video. However, the bulk of the video was spent doing this. And that was the junction on the main line that went all the way around going into Wem where we've got a teeny tiny station and then we're going to expand that over to the end of the line which is going to be here in Buntingford so that's as far south as this main line is going to go however we also have to have a line go down wow that's odd we have to have a line come down here to Beeston where we're going to have we'll probably have a tiny little station we're not in anticipating this growing massively and if it does we're probably going to control it somehow so we need to get a nice junction going uh, here and that's what we've got to do in this one so we've got that part done we now have to work out how to get it going that way without doing any weird crossing because I feel like crossing is going to cause problems and I want to do something a little bit fancy to be to be completely honest will I bridge over that's a possibility will I dig underneath that's another possibility the only way to find out is for you guys to stay tuned okay I did say I was going to start with smoothing so here we go smoothing around there smoothing around there smoothing a little bit there there we go looking good and smoothing along there that will do, I guess. There we go. Nice and easy. Who said I was going to spend a long time smoothing? Still a little bit annoyed about the way the station is not quite sitting uh, perfectly. Just debating whether I should just delete the station and do it again. I mean, it will just literally fit in the same spot, so... I might try that. Very quickly, if I just smooth that out and then stick the exact same station in, six platforms, 160 meters, in the exact same fashion with the exact same. There you go, done. That's easy. Now it doesn't have that. Yeah, now it doesn't have that issue whatsoever. Perfect. A new transport fever would be easy. Right. Oh no, I shouldn't have said that. Uh, lines report problems. Uh, well, what's what's the problem here? Ah, yes. Platform three, please. There you go. Okay. Let's see how we're we going to do this. So, first of all, I think I should probably create the station in Beeston. Uh, the Beeston station, I think, should be here actually I don't want a flexible station I want a terminus station do I need six platforms what kind of trains do we have coming in are we going to have a mainline fast track train no we're going to have small trains coming in so 80 meters is probably about right how many places are we going to have the trains coming in from we'll have one coming in from Burnham we'll probably have one coming in from Bletchley potentially um, might not might have one coming in from Lizard actually and then we'll have one going over to Wim um, I think I think we're just going to have four platforms four platforms will do the trick and the station can sit right how are we going to make this sit? I don't want it to sit too 
two off center. There we go. Uh, perhaps, nope. There, that looks nice. And this can be a nice slow 30 mile per hour. There you go. That will do. We'll remove all three of those buildings and smooth it out. Perfect. Okay, lovely. So now we have the two center platforms. Ooh, where, where are we going to have this this one come in? Yeah, let's have these ones come into the two center platforms to start with. We'll have the other platforms work themselves out afterwards. Right. If I was just do a straight connection, how how would we be looking? On this side, easy as pie. There is literally no easier way to do that than just run it across like so. That is the easiest way to do it. That's fine. Uh, no, it's not perfect. I am going to do something to it. But that's easy. However, this side, not quite as easy as you can see. That's the kind of thing it wants. Now, how are we going to do that? I have an idea. I have an idea because by the time it gets here, it should be able to bridge over it. Mm-hmm. I know what I'm doing. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Right. We're going to start initially keeping this flat. We're going to swing it out this way. And the exit here is going to be a 50 mile per hour exit. There we go. 50 mile per hour exit right there. So we will I mean we could literally just start bridging it. Do I do I want to do the bridges from the start? Is that is that what I want to is that what I want to do or do I want to have a little bit of an embankment like so? I think a bit of an embankment is better. Just that much. And now we'll just bridge. And there we go. That's looking perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. I've literally got no issues about this. Get it to... I don't know. How tight a corner can we make this? We can make it that tight. Which isn't bad. Don't mind a corner that tight. Where is stations there? I want it to aim about there. There we go. Okay. I'll take it. I will then smooth this part out. So that's what you're supposed to do. It's nice how between between the tracks you can have perfectly smooth. I say perfectly smooth. This isn't perfectly smooth, is it? But close to perfectly smooth, or perfectly flat, should I say? It is smooth. There you go. No, that's perfectly. Yeah, that's perfectly flat. Uh, to have perfectly flat um, terrain. There you go. We'll probably put trees here. Why not? Imagine a, a nice amount of trees. That could look great. I might actually do that. Just extend the tree line up the up the hill. Okay. So now that we've got that bit, what we need to do is we need to see how this would work if we wanted to take it all the way to Beeston once again. Tunnel. Does it seriously want to tunnel now? It now wants a tunnel that extends for a million miles. Um, no. No, I'm not having that. I'm not having that. It's a nice line, but I'm not having that as, as my tunnel. No. Also, we're going to increase the speed once again to, this time, uh, 70. 
Right. Now what I want to do is I want to try and keep it from cutting in too much. But then I also don't want that. Okay, hold on. Ah, here we go. That's probably the best I'm going to get. If I just drop that ever so slightly. In fact, that could be a bit better. There you go. Let's have it go uphill slowly. There we go, uphill slowly. That that could work. It's a small cut there, but and and an embankment there, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, look, it's because we're on the side of this hill and somehow we've got to get up the hill and I can't actually go around the hill. I've got to actually cut through. As long as I avoid that bit there and this should... If we can just sort of smoothly go up this at an angle, diagonally as we are, we should be okay. So I'll take that and then let's see... Yeah, look, see, we're okay. If we go up at this angle, well, we're sort of okay. In fact, we're better than okay at that, that sort of angle. And I want to avoid that bit there. So I'll do that. And then, let's see. How do you... How do you want that? Okay. Okay, that's um, not perfect. That's not perfect at all. But if we were to do that nice and gently, like so, could you connect in a slightly better fashion? Uh, no, no, you don't. No, you don't connect in a better fashion at all, do you? Uh, perhaps let's do that. Nope, still don't connect in a better fashion. There you do. Much better. Much, much better. Okay. That's good. Now to get the second line along this. How am I going to do this? Do I just... I'll just run another line here. Just peel it off. Like so. I do. And it, and it works. Does, it, does that work as I want it? Um, not exactly as I want it. I'll tell you what I will do. What I will do is I'll ensure that this stays flat like that and does the exact same thing that we expect, which is that, up to a certain point, which is there. Yeah, we'll, we'll make sure it does that up to there, and then we'll just uh, join us up like so. Oh, that's awesome. That is genuinely quite awesome. I mean, I, I wish I wish this side didn't have to swing out as much. Maybe, maybe I can make it so it doesn't swing out as much. I'm going to try that as well. I, I do like the curvature on that uh, a lot, lot more. There you go. You should be fairly happy with, with that. That's nice. Very, very simple gradient. Line that with the trees too. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try this now. Uh, what if, just as a curiosity, what if I was to try doing that? Would it be possible? That's possible too. So if I was to do that at 50 miles per hour, it's going to be more, it's going to prefer that. Tighten it up a little bit more. Uh, how tight can I make that? I can make it that tight and it will still accept it. I think I'll take that. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to take the tighter corner. I much prefer that. And therefore we'll delete you, you. Sorry. There we go. That's a better corner. So much better. Okay. Let's uh, fix this up once again. Nice smooth. Say flat. It's not flat. I did say flat earlier, but it's not really flat, is it? It's a smooth gradient. And this side. Ah. Right. We've got a problem here. I want to lower this nicely. It looks like something was clearly there, so bring it down. Bring it down. There we go. So a little bit better. Then now, you know, it still looks like something was there. Maybe I should just lower the terrain a bit and then work on that part. But there we go. That's awesome. Now, now we actually have uh, something that can go both ways. Ah, super. Awesome. Right, let's have a look. So we've got Beast and well, let's let's put some signals in and things like that to make sure that we are doing this correctly. The last thing we want is to mess up on this part. And then we'll, we'll put a few things in and all the trains will just go, nope, can't find routes, can't do this, can't do that. I haven't even created, look at that, I haven't even created that line. That is how bad I am doing right now. Badly I am doing, not bad I am doing. Where does that hook up? There. Done. Okay. Let's get this back in. So I will put a signal here. I'll put a signal there. It's one signal. And I shall put another signal here. And I will put a signal here. There you go. Lovely. That's working. Okay, going this way. Well, I mean, we need an approach signal. I'm only going to do it on the main line at the moment. So the, the middle part. And I'll stick a signal here. I don't want multiple trains on the bridge at, uh, at any one time. That should be fine, like so. We'll put another signal. So to clear the block, we'll put a signal here. That should clear that block. And then the next signal will be in WEM itself. So there, and I suppose on the opposite side. That's a, that's a clear enough block, I think. Okay. Okay, good. That's that's looking good. Let's we'll come back to that in a moment. Let's get Buntingford done. I know exactly where I want the station here because it's kind of obvious. Either there or there. And I do think Where where's the centre? There. I think there is even better. Uh, 30 mile per hour tracks are fine for this. We will go for six tracks at 160 meters. That's perfect. In fact, it covers most of the most of the town. Right there, done. Yeah, it doesn't look out of place at all, does it? Now, okay, center lines. Uh, We'll stick them up to 90 again. I do need to create these whole approach lines and things like that. So I'll do that at a later time. I've realised that there is there is a number of things that need to be done, and building is probably the first. Getting correctly built lines is the first. That's a tunnel I do not want. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely crazy. I do not want that tunnel in any which shape way shape or form but I would like to follow that similar path so let's go ahead and do so 
Now we're going to have a cut here simply because of the way the terrain is. But then if I can follow this around, there. That's the idea. I need to get up onto this one. There. Okay. If I can get up there, we're okay. There we go. Now we're up here. We should be able to just do a small tunnel. Here we go. Done. That's the kind of tunnel I'm after. That's not the kind of embankment I'm after. But we can fix this. We can do. We can deal with this. Look, small embankment. We can just do this. Look. There we go. That's, that'll be even better. Perfect. That will do. Okay. Uh, make sure I've got the right one. Which side is it? It's that side. Good. And last thing I want to do is get this wrong. Done. And then we should be able to technically we do the same thing up to there we should be able to split this off and connect it to here I said split this off and connect it to here no okay no apparently not uh, fine how about we create a tunnel that comes out in the exact same place like so ah well, that's an issue. I suppose this, this one would go a bit higher up. Does it go in at the same place? Slightly after. Do I mind it coming out slightly higher up and then bring itself down? I probably do not. I've done this before. My very first series, I think I did this. So I'm going to take it. I don't mind it doing that, provided I can connect it nicely, which I can, sort of. Ooh. Maybe like that and then like that, there you go. Not the greatest, not the greatest at all, but let's see what what it gives us. I think my first season was better at making those tunnels. They were a lot further apart, that's why. I remember them sort of, one tunnel actually split off that way and then went into the hill. Uh, unlike these two, which are a lot closer to each other, which I think is what's causing the sort of the terrain issues and things like that. It's this, I just don't like this happening. I wish there was a way to fix that. It's a very ugly thing to see that the ballast not sitting on the uh, not sitting on the terrain properly. But on the other hand, we are connected to Buntingford, which means we should finish off this line down to 25 miles per hour. There we go. Our junction, our signal, and now let's figure out where we're going to put the next set of signals. There looks good. Between Wem and Buntingford, halfway through. Here we go. That's fairly good. I'm happy with that. And then we have another signal right here on the approach into my perfect that's it that's that's that done uh, no it's not done I lied uh, I don't have this connected uh, I need a better road than that how's that that's something 
It's not great, but it's something. Okay. So we've done the junction, we've got it connected. That's actually looking... That's looking really nice. I need to take a picture of that, because that's the thumbnail. Uh, which way am I going to take the picture? Perhaps like... Perhaps like that. No. So let's go to capture. That's a nice way to take it. Um, I need to figure out which way I'm going to take this picture. I mean, that also looks fairly good. From down there, you can't really see it, though. From up here, you, you sort of can. And you can't even see where either line is going, which is kind of clever. But it does show the nature of the junction. Maybe that. There we go. That That's probably... No, 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 no. That's probably our best bet. Something that gives you an overview. Like, like that. It wasn't terribly difficult. The way I had had it planned, I think, would have been far more difficult. And if you are a Patreon supporter, then feel free to ask how that was planned because I will I will post it on Patreon. I'll post it on the Discord server, actually. I, I, I will pop it down on the Discord server and you'll see what the initial plan was. It wasn't great. I did try it and, and it was not was not great at all. Um, I think that's everything on that. Let's get the line extended. So let's grab that and we will extend the line right for now. We are extending the line over only this way. So we're going to Wem. From Wem we're going to Buntingford. From Buntingford we're going back to Wem. That's Burnham. Back to Wem. And from Wem we're going back to Burnham. And in Buntingford we are not going into that platform. I want to go into platform 4 please. There we go. And there we go, that is the southern part of the Midland Main Line complete. All the way along there, across here through Painswick, going to Newcastle upon Guild, all the way through to Guildford itself, right the way over to Tottenham and up to Spalding. Next up, we need to take it from Spalding across to uh, Brig. And from Brig, we need to have it go to Bidoff, uh, Hawley, and perhaps end in Hawley, or perhaps even end up here in West Ham. Uh, I haven't decided yet where it should end, but we need to do that. In addition to that, if we move back all the way here, we need to go from, uh, from Guildford. We need to create a line that's going to go out this way, and then jump across the river go to uh, Kenilworth we need it to go to Western Supermare we need it to be going up to perhaps Greys uh, Frodsham Faversham and Bawtree or Bawtree uh, maybe you can't get to Bawtree or alternatively no Greys that would actually work then we need to have another one that goes up to Peterborough we also need one that goes perhaps diagonally across somewhere because we've got Houghton to Spring, Normanton, Neneaton to look at, Leyland, Worcester, Felixstowe, Woodstock, Ferry Hill and Corby to be looking at over on this side. As well as, um, what was that? Aylsham, uh, Blythe, we've got Richmond, Bungie or Bungie, Bungay, something like that to look at on that side. And then I know what we're doing on this side. We're probably starting down in... Where's Lizard? Probably start, starting down in Lizard. Lizard, Bletchley, Crowborough, or maybe Church Stretton. Uh, Newmarket. I don't know how we're going to get to Paddock Wood and perhaps then join up on this side. Somehow over to St. Blasey. Uh, Drolston, Hendon, Whitchurch. 
Perhaps we can't get over to Hinton, so we're going to go Whitchurch instead. Uh, Hungerford, maybe Peacehaven. And then up to Kingston upon Thames, which is tiny. Actually, it's not that tiny. But that is where I'm going to leave it for this video. We've managed to do our junction. Let's go back to the junction. We've managed to build it. It's all been constructed correctly. We've managed to get the route in. In the next video, we are going to be, if I get rid of all of that, in the next video, we are going to be getting trains running on this. And then we're going to start looking at what we can do to go north. So we've done the southbound, we've done everything down south. Like I said, we need to now go north. So our next task is going to be to get over to Brig and then see where we go from Brig. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Transport Fever, the UK series. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. Don't forget to support me on Patreon, www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Your support would be massively, massively appreciated. It would really, really help me out. Also, you can find me on social media at ecgadgetlp for both Twitter and Instagram. That's all from me, and I'll see you guys next time in Transport Fever Series 2. No, it's not Series 2. I was about to say Series 2, The Great Lakes. No, that series is done and dusted. Series 3, the UK series, whilst we wait for Transport Fever 2.